O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The saints who toil from place to place, Spreading the gospel of God's grace, now in their heavenly homeland dwell, with Christ whom he they serve so well. And let at thy command to go, and everywhere thy word to sow, they went, O Master, far and wide, Eager but yet unsatisfied. Thine was the task they took in hand. Thine their good news for every land. Thine was their power and thine again. Their passion for the souls of men. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation from deceitful and cunning men. Rescue me, O God, since you, O God, are my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, O press by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp. O oh God, my God, why you cast down my soul, why groan within me? Up in God I will praise him still, my Saviour, my God. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Lord, come to our help all the days of our life. I said, in the noontime of my days I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. I said, I shall not see the Lord in the land of the living. I shall look upon man no more among the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. From day to night you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. From day to night you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane I clamour, I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary with looking upward. O Lord, I am oppressed. Be my security. Lo, it was for my welfare that I had great bitterness. But you have held back my life from the pit of destruction, for you have cast all my sins behind your back. For Sheol cannot thank you, death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living, he thanks you, as I do this day. The Father makes known to the children your faithfulness. The Lord will save me, and we will sing to stringed instruments all the days of our life at the house of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, come to our help all the days of our life. To you our praise is due, in Zion, O God. To you our praise is due, in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come, with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offences, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your cause. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Saviour, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength, you are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples, the ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows, you level its soft with showers, you bless its growth, you crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy as they sing. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. To you our praise is due, in Zion, O God. What I learned without self-interest I pass on without reserve. I do not intend to hide wisdom's riches for she is an inexhaustible treasure to men, and those who acquire it win God's friendship, commended as they are to him by the benefits of her teaching. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The church sings their praises. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The chosen pastor Gregory passed on an example by the life he led as a pastor, and he also left us a rule. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up as a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of only men, those were his prophets from of old, as saviour who were trees from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that tree from fear, and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people the salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Chosen Pastor Gregory passed on an example by the life he led as a pastor, and he also left us a rule. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord and the holy pastors, you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who was in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. 
God our Father, your rule is a rule of love. Your providence is full of mercy for your people. Through the intercession of Saint Gregory, grant the spirit of wisdom to those who are placed in authority, so that the spiritual growth of the people may bring eternal joy to the pastors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.